Hello, I'm Dragos and in this video we're going to see how we can create a mobile responsive header to a card website. If you don't know card, it's a page builder that can help you build one page websites easily. It's uh, offering a free plan and uh, it's cheap if you want to create one page websites. Basically with a couple of bucks uh, here you can have up to 10 websites hosted on card. It's easy to use and uh, it will help you deploy one page websites easily. I've created a review in the past about this and yeah in this video we're going to see exactly how we can create an uh, header like this. So you see in here that I have a free theme that uh, I am uh, using and in here you have the header. You see that uh, this is the navigation menu that it's added in this uh, part. You see that uh, if you go and hover on the menu, you will have this nice effect added below. And uh, if you are going to shrink this and uh, you will see that the text is going with the display. And when it's uh, going to the mobile breakpoint, it will have an hamburger menu that you can uh, click and have this uh, nice uh, menu on mobiles by default uh, card is not having uh, an easy options to create something like this you will need to embed a code to have this uh, done the code it's lightweight and it's only using uh, html and css and it can be easily customized you can change the font if you want you can change the colors if you want for your menu and uh, you can also change the color for this drop down that you see in in here so everything is customizable and I will show you exactly how you can deploy it on your uh, website. So let's go and create a blank website so we can uh, get started with, with this. So I will hit create a new site and I will start with a black canvas so you can see everything from the start. Also this uh, header or navigation is also compatible with the sticky header tutorial that I've created in, in the past so you can use them both to have a nicer experience for your visitors. I will let a link into the description with that tutorial if you want to have a sticky header to, to card also. So yeah, now let's go and uh, go back in here. So you see here that is the default uh, page. And what we are going to do for this is to go and uh, do some customizations in here. Like uh, we're going to customize the, the page where uh, we're going to put a white box in here. We'll put a position uh, to top. And uh, yeah, we can let it like this. Usually you should uh, remove this vertical padding and horizontal padding to look uh, nicer. Let's put in like this. You can change the size if you want alignment and things like that. But for our purpose, it will be okay like this. I'm just trying to demonstrate to you how you can create headers and the navigation menu in card and how you can add uh, my navigation. By the way, all the code you will find in an article in here that I will link into the description. So you can use it on your own website. Everything is free. You don't need to pay anything for this. So let's go in here right now and see what we have. So we have in here a text widget that we are going to delete because for this we are going to need an add a container. So in here you see that I've added the container and this container will need to be two columns. So basically these two columns, one column it will have our logo and the other column it will have our menu. So this is the standard way, but you can choose what design you want. You're not limited to this. So for this I will let this to 25%. And the other one it will be of 75 because the logo is not that... Uh, that uh, big and it doesn't need a lot of space. Let's see what else we can customize in here. We'll put the weight to be full. Uh, you can change the height if you want. I will let it auto. You have the paddings that you can change, margins and so on. Uh, for now I will not uh, modify anything. I will just modify the background and I will choose a color for this. So you see how this is working. So in my tutorial, I had like a blue one in here. I will just choose a red one so you can see exactly how uh, this is working. So right now you see that the um, header has been changed to use the red background. This will not impact the menu menu. It will use exactly what you will have in here. So let's go and add a text in here. That will be our logo. You can also add an image or anything like that. It's up to you. 
But for this purpose, I will just gonna use a large text that we are going to display and I will make the text white. And let's see, let's modify the size a little bit to be bigger. Okay. The other thing that we are going to, to do is to align all of these things gen center to have a better position. Let's see, center. For, uh, this is for the container alignment it will be center center like this for everything to be displaying in the in the center okay so right now in the default way that you can use to add menus in here if you want to use the default way for cart you can just go and add an element in here basically you can add buttons or links as menus and you see in here that uh, this is like this so you can add uh, like a home in here. Let's add another one you, about us. Contact, for instance, if you want. And there you can go and then modify the, the size for this. You can align it to the to the right. Let's see where it is. Layout row. And basically, like this, you can add a menu in uh, in um, in cart. But you'll see in here that it doesn't look quite nice. You can center in the in the middle, but on mobile you'll not have a very good experience with this kind of menu. Also, you can add buttons and things like that in here for the menu. But I prefer the other way. Of course, the other way you will need to have the pro standard plan so you can embed things in, in there. But yeah, if you want to design a responsive header, you can do it like this. And for instance, on this side, you can go then on the uh, mobile and uh, choose the layout in here just to, to stack, for instance, or not to stack. And uh, you can also choose the alignment to be in the center and uh, so on. So like this, you can create a menu with the default uh, card uh, widgets. So right now, let's go and uh, use our code to do this. Let me delete this. So right now you have the header that uh, it was in, in there in the beginning. And what we should uh, do is to go and add the code element in here. So I will go and choose the embed code element. Let me put it in here. And in here, I will just uh, assign it a name to know what it is. It will be uh, my menu. And in here, you'd let the style in line and we're going to need to go and add the code. So to get the code, you just need to go to the link that you will see in the description. And in here, you will have a style that you will have the primary color and the secondary color. So basically, the primary color, it will be the one that you will see on the mobile when you Click, click the hamburger menu toggle and the secondary color it will be the actual color for the text in the menu so basically this is everything that you need to to adjust for this to to work and at the end in here you will have the details and basically in here you will have the menu items you see like you have the home you have the about you have the services contact you can add as many as you like and in the href details you just add the uh, point to your section. So for instance, if you have some section with about me, testimonials and contacts, like uh, I have in this area, you just add them in there. And if you click here, it will go to the section for about me, the one that you are configuring in cart. So let's go and copy this code. Let me copy this. Okay. I'm just copying this and right now I will go in here and I will paste the code. And uh, let's go and see how this is looking uh, like this. And afterwards, we're just going to adjust the secondary color to match our color that we are having for all the header. Let me publish this and see what is happening. So menu test. I'll give it a name, a title. I will publish this to to cart just uh, for test. So menu test. 
Let's see if this is available. Test uh, DR from Dragos. And let's publish this. Okay, and right now let's visit the site and see how it's looking. So you see in here that this is our menu. Of course, you can make it smaller. I will show you how you can do that. Let's actually go and do just this and see how we can make it smaller. So you can do it like, like this. You can also make horizontal uh, smaller. If you go to the page, We tell that it like this. I will not put any vertical. Can make the size a little smaller. Okay. Let's save this. Okay, so right now our uh, menu is looking more nice. Of course, you can uh, change the size of this internal one to make it uh, bigger. So right now you see in here that our menu is working and it's already looking nice because uh, in there you will have the elements that uh, it will push everything into the, the right. And if we try to go on mobile, you will see that if the screen is get sizer, the text it will get sizer as it's happening also in cart. And right now you will have a toggle in here that right now is not just right. We are going to alter it. But in here you will see that you will have this color that you are going to, to change because it's the default one that it's used in, uh, in the code. And let's go and uh, choose and uh, modify the color for that. So you can see what is happening in, in there. So let's pick the color. So what I will do, I will just copy the color that I have uh, assigned to the to the header container and I will go to the code and just modify the first color, the primary one, to not be blue anymore. And uh, let's hit done. And the other thing that we should do is to align the toggle to be correctly displayed on the mobile device. And uh, to do that, we just need to go and do the manual alteration of the container. And in here, you will not tell it to stack. You'll tell it to use the default uh, option. And right now should be okay. Also, you can change the content to be to the right. And right now, if you save it. And we are visiting the site and we are going to make this smaller, you are going to see that the toggle, it uh, went to the correct position. And uh, in here, you can click it and this menu, it will be displayed in here. If you want to modify the gap between this menu and uh, these elements, you can also do that to go and modify that. You can go in here, you can go in the code. And in here, you have in the menu, area you have the top and if here it's a calculation and you can just uh, modify it like this. So for instance, you can change the EM in here and you can add also a fixed value. Let's publish the changes. And right now this should uh, be modified and you see in here that uh, it has been added uh, in the top, but this, this doesn't look quite nice. So again, you should go and modify it as per your uh, header uh, height. So let's go and uh, put some. Uh, oh, I will make it for M in here. So it uh, not be in that uh, in that in your face so you see in here that right now it's looking nice it's just near this if you want to move it uh, to the center you can just add more uh, more uh, space in in there you can increase the imps you can add like 15 and 20 you can position 
in any way you, you want and afterwards you just go and uh, add your links to this menu so for instance if you want to add another thing like uh, testimonials you just copy it like this the li and you put in here testimonials and in here you will add the section if you have like a testimonial one And then you click done and you save it again we publish the changes and right now the menu should have also the testimonials so you see in here that uh, it uh, added the testimonial section if you are going to check this on mobile you see that you have the testimonials also in here you can close it and uh, so on modify the font you need to go in uh, in the code and in here you will have a main font and in here you will need to add the font that uh, you want uh, to use and uh, this will uh, just uh, use the font uh, that you want uh, in the menu so for instance let's go and see how this is working so for instance if i want to have a font like uh, one that it's just different so i can show you like this i will choose this for the logo and for the rest of the elements or styles that we will have i will save this And then you'll see that uh, the font it will be like this for the logo, but it's not changed for the for the menu. And uh, what you can do is to go and see exactly what this font it is. You're gonna use the inspect element, and in here you will have the elements and you will have the font, and the font family, in the text zero one, and you have the Alumi Sans pipe. And what we should do is just go and uh, copy this. Let me copy. And right now, to add it, we just go in here and we are just go in the code and in the main font. And in the main font, we are going to add exactly the font that it's used by card, like this. It should be with the closing at the end. And right now, if we save this, And we visit the site you see that the font for the menu has been modified and you can use what fan font you want for this menu with this and yeah you see in here that uh, right now all the fonts will use what uh, what you want and it will take everything from card so yeah in this way you are adding an uh, a menu to your card uh, website that is mobile responsive and it has an hamburger menu in mobile I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If so, please uh, don't forget to like and subscribe to the video. I will let a playlist in the description with some other card tutorial can help you customize your uh, card installation.